This demo is going to show you how to use the str replace function, uh, part of the string r package created by Hadley Wickham. First thing we're going to do is we're going to activate a few packages. So string r, read r, which just lets you read in uh, CSV um, data a lot quicker, and then the dplyr r package. All right, we're just going to set our working directory in order to pull in the the data. The data we're going to be using uh, for this example is uh, was <coughs> imported from uh, the Kaggle website, so we'll use some hotel review data. All right, we'll make the data a little smaller so you can see here uh, the date. Here's just uh, a few a couple dates that we're going to be using. So date added and date updated. Uh, so let's just say that you have a, a data frame, so a data set, and you need to replace a string. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So let's just say you have here, um, we're going to use the date added, and we want to switch this, the, just the first uh, dash into a period. All right, so we're going to use str replace string equals date added the pattern right the existing pattern is this the dash and we want to replace it with the period all right so we'll run that <coughs> we'll do head just to bring in the first uh, the first six rows you can see now it didn't replace the second one it just replaced whatever the I found the first dash and it replaced it with a period now let's just say for that single column you want to replace all the all the dashes with the period all right so instead of using str replace you'd be use you'd use str replace all all right so let's run that and let's do head And as you can see now, you have not only the first dash was replaced with the period, but also the second dash. Now, let's just say you want to replace the dash, and then you also want to replace uh, the colon with the period, right? You want to replace multiple patterns um, with the period. So in this, you could do str replace all, right? Everything stays the same, but here you're gonna put brackets around where you use the dash and the colon inside of a bracket, and we're gonna replace it with the word hey. All right, let's do that. As you can see here, wherever there was a, a dash, now it says hey, and wherever there was a colon, it's going to also say hey. All right, but now let's just say that we actually want to just remove it. All right, wherever there is a dash or a colon, we we want it to we want to basically just remove it. So here we use the same thing as we did in DF3, but we're just going to use two two quotes right with no spaces between the quotes so let's run that so you can see now here there's no spaces i uh, sorry there's no uh, dashes and there's no colons so just completely removed it, didn't leave a space there. All right, let's just say if you did want to leave a space, you could also just use a space. All right, now you have a space between uh, where the dash or the colon was. <coughs> so now let's just say that you want to do the whole data frame, not just a single column. All right, this can be done by 
going in and using the lapply function, right? So by following this function, uh, and if you want to go uh, through this or copy this into your own R Studio, I will post a link to where um, my code is located at, so you don't have to worry about typing all this stuff out uh, onto your own console. All right, so it's just the lapply function, or you saying s str replace all the x, and we're going to replace just the dash with help. <coughs> All right, so now let's do df5 to see what it looks like. And as you can see now, not just the first one, uh, the dashes were replaced with help but also the, the second column that also had uh, a dash uh, was also replaced with, uh, the dash was replaced with help. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed or this video was helpful, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.